Hi, welcome to Bob Mills Cafe. What can I get for you today? Hi, can I get a number one, please? So the first thing we're going to do is try to reformat it to make it look a lot better and easier to solve. Then we're going to want to do the u sub, so we set x is equal to u, and then take the derivative of both sides. Then we want to get dx by itself, so dx is equal to du. After that, we plug it back into the forming, well, to the equation. But we sub in x for your u, and then we take out the 4, sum over u is equal to u. And then we're able to use the formula to solve for the rest of the equation. And that's how you solve that equation. Can I get a number two, please? Sure, let me show you how to do that. So first we're going to want to reformat it so we get this negative exponent out, so it will be integral of 5 over x. And next we'll want to do the u sub, so first u is equal to x, and then after that we'll do the derivative, which is du over dx is equal to 1, which is the derivative of x, and then you'll do dx is equal to du, because when you cross multiply, it turns into du, and after that, we'll put it back into the equation, which is 5 over u times du. And then after that, we will take out the 5 and put it in front of the integral, so it is 1 over u du. And then from that, we can use the equation, how it was in number 1 actually, and then it turns into 5 ln of u plus c, which turns into 5 ln of x plus c. Hi, can I get a number three, please? Yeah, of course. Let me show you exactly how to do it. So our problem is integral of 3 over x dx. So first, we're going to want to do the u sub method and set u equal to x. Then we take the derivative of both sides, and it'd be du over dx is equal to 1. And then we want to solve for dx, so it would be dx is equal to du, and then we're ready to go ahead and sum it back into the equation. So the integral of 3 over u times du, and then we can take out the 3, and it would be 3 integral 1 over u times du, and with that, just like problem, uh, problem 1 and 2, we're able to use the math, the formula and uh, solve for it. So it would be 3 ln u plus c, and then we can subtract our, our u and finish out the equation. And that's our answer. Hi, can I get a number 4? Sure, I'll show you how to do that. So for number 4, the equation 75x to the 4th over 3x to the 5th plus 2 dx. So first what you'll want to do is get the u, and that you'll be using the denominator because 5 is a higher power than 4. So u equals 3x to the 5th plus 2. Next you'll find the derivative, which is du over dx. And to do that, you bring the 15 times 3, or 5 times 3 is 15 x to the fourth because you subtract one and the two with the constant rule cancels out. Next we'll do dx is equal to du over 15 x to the fourth because you cross multiply. Next you can use the equation that you were given which is 75 x to the fourth. Sorry, I meant to put the integral right there x to the fourth over u times, you would use this right here, so it'll be du over 15x to the fourth. So right here you can see that the x to the fourths both cancel out, and then you have 75 divided by 15, because you know that 15 can go into 75, and that is five times that it can do that, so then it will turn into five 
integral 5 over u times du. But then with that 5, you can take that out in front of the integral, so it would be 5, 1 over u, du. And then you're ready to use the formula to plug it all back in. So that would be 5 ln of 3x to the fifth, because that is the u, plus 2, and then plus the c. And that is how you do number 4. Hi, can I get a number 5, please? Of course, let me show you exactly how to do it. So, just like all the other ones, we're going to be using the u sub method. So, our, for this problem, our u is going to be equal to 3x to the fifth minus 5. And we're choosing this denominator over the numerator because um, the 5 is higher than 4 and it is of a higher power. So with that set, we're going to be taking the derivative of both sides, which is going to be equal to 15x to the 4th, and the minus 5 uh, using the constant rule will turn into a 0, so I don't have to add that. And then we solve for dx. And then we're ready to go ahead and plug it back into our original equation. So, integral of 30x to the fourth over u times du over 15x to the fourth. Now, our x to the fourth is able to cancel out on both of these. And then uh, 15 can go into 32 times. So it would be integral of 2 over u times du. We bring out our 2, it would be 1 over u times du, and then we're able to go ahead and use our formula to solve for the rest. So it would be 2 ln absolute value of u plus c, and then we can plug in our u from the first part, which would be 3x to the power of 5 minus 5 plus c. Thank you. Hi, welcome back to the Batman Cafe. What can I get for you today? Hi, can I get a number 6, please? Of course. Let me show you how to do it. So number 6 is a definite integral, which means that we're going to want to find the exact number for this equation. So in order to find the antiderivative, the first thing that we do is add 1 to the exponent and then divide the whole equation by that new exponent. So we're gonna wanna add three over three to the exponent to get four over three, and then we divide it all by four over three. After that, we're gonna wanna simplify it. So we're gonna do negative four x over one times three over four, and we solve for that. So it would be negative 12 x over four, and then if we simplify that even further, it would be negative 3x, and then we bring down our exponent from before, and it would be 4 over 3. After that, we're going to want to use the first fundamental theorem of calculus equation to find our exact value, and that equation is capital F of B minus capital F of A. So now we just plug that in to our equation. So it would be negative 3 our x, where our b is 4, to the 4 thirds, minus negative 3 times 0 to the 4 thirds. After that, we can use a calculator to get our exact value, and that is equal to negative 19.049. And that is how you do number 6. Thank you. Hi, can I get today's bonus? Sure. So that equation is 4x plus 3 over 4x squared plus 6x minus 1. So for this, we'll be using the u sub method. And first, we'll have to find the u, which would be equal to this trinomial because it has the higher power. So it's 4x squared plus 6x minus 1. And then we'll do the derivative of both sides. So derivative of u becomes du over dx which would be equal to 8x plus 6, and the 1 goes away because of the constant rule. Next, we'll be finding dx, 
which you just switch those there. So then it becomes du over 8x plus 6. Next. Next, we'll be plugging this back into the equation, which would be integral of 4x plus 3 over the u, because we set that equal to the u, times du over 8x plus 6. So when I look at this, I can tell that if I took a 2 out, I, it would go to 4x plus 3, which is what we have here. So I'll change that now and take the 2 out. So the 4x plus 3 over u stays the same, and then it'll be du over, take the 2 out, 4x plus 3, and now we are able to cancel those two out, and then it leaves us with 1 over u, du over 2, and then I also am able to take that 2 out as a 1 half in front of the integral. So it turns into 1 half integral 1 over u du. So now it is set up perfectly to use the equation ln absolute value 1 over u plus c. So we'll plug that u in. So it's 1 half ln absolute value. We plug in the u. 4x squared plus 6x minus 1 absolute value and then plus C.